and welcome to What's on the Shelf, and I'm still having camera problems. Ah, there we go. Sorry about that. Let's make sure this camera is still working. It is. Hello and welcome to What's on the Shelf. I'm your host, Jen. Today is Wednesday, so what do we do on Wednesdays? We do live unboxings. So today we have Dungeon Party. This was courtesy of Envoyed Games. Uh, we currently do demoing for them in the Montreal area. So make sure to check out what's going on there for us because we should be uh, setting up events near the end of the month. So if you're interested in coming and checking us out, we'll be there. Uh, we usually go to our local um, game stores such as Check Swing or Imaginaire. We'll keep you posted on which ones we'll be going to with this particular game. So this is Dungeon Party by Forbidden Games. Um, it is a hilarious coin bouncing role playing game. So I've read a little bit about it. I haven't read very much about it. So it's, uh, there should be quite a lot to explain when I actually get down to it. Uh, I'll also be doing certification for this game. So I should be a master of this game by the time I have to demo it. Uh, if you are interested, again, we'll set up the information in our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, if we're doing an event nearby. Uh, again, sorry for the delay. Uh, <laughs> my cameras were acting up, you know, the, the warm weather is starting to kick in and I'm like, no, don't do that, please. Please don't. Be good. So, um, let's just get right down to it and get down to the unboxing. So, let's see what the box, bad, a bit, back of the box says. How many players does this play? It does not say... But it's supposed to be a coin tossing fun game. So we'll give you a little bit of the view of the back. And head right into opening this up. So this is the starter box, I believe. It has an S on it. It's the starter set. Put this over here for now. Let's see what we've got inside the box. Ooh, it's a very tall box. So we've got the rule book. It's a cute little thing. Goes into details about all of the things about the cards, how the rooms are decked out. It's about 14 pages long, the rule book. Oh, wow. That's that's a lot of cardboard. And then we have, ooh, we have some nice dice. wonder if they glow in the dark, just the way that they look. So there's some nice dice. They roll nice and chunky, too. Let's see. Is there anything else in this section? There's the coin. Is there more than one coin? No, it's just one coin. So we've got a coin, we've got some dice. Very curious to see if they glow in the dark. I'm not sure if they do. I will have to test this theory. So it's very simple and very compact. So let's just see what we've got here. So you got treasures and they're Fairly chunky cardboards. Didn't mean to nick that. So this is good for two damage plus four against large. So it seems like this is split in, up into different sections. Let me just turn this around real quick. Because I don't want to nick the cardboard again. So you've got different heroes. Be a human fighter, human barbarian, we flip them, same thing. The Dungeon of the Dread. Dungeons are stupid. Difficulty be gentle. The Goblin Cave. The the trope is a trope. You dope, you dope. <laughs> I really like the the so these are like difficulties of levels of play. We've got a dwarf fighter. We've got an elf druid. I really like the artwork. Elf magic user. 
Elf Thief, Half Elf Ranger, Human Cleric. Let's see what else we've got. So you've got the Wizard's Tower, which is difficulty be gentle. Oh, and then we get into some monsters. So you got a demon. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit. So you got a demon, a djinn. Oh, did I skip one there? I did. Demon Lord. Jin, the elemental wizard, the giant, giant spider, goblin, golem. So we're just going to quickly go through the contents of the boxes. There isn't uh, that many tiles for the starter one, just to give you a view of what you're getting in the box. You got the giant dragon, a lich, Medusa. Echo Caves. Uh, so these are the dungeon rooms. These were the monsters. I'm sure they explain how to set up all this. Hallway, large cavern, large dungeon room. There's two of them. There are several of them. That one was cursed. Trap Boulder Run. <laughs> large cavern. Polygon Room, Unholy Shrine, Deep Cavern, Underground Maze, and then we go into some more monsters. We've got Troll, Vampire Queen, Vampires, Cavern, Caverned but Cursed. Dungeon Room, Orc, Orcs, oh she's adorable, the pixie is so cute looking, Skeletons, Minotaur, this kind of reminds me of the artwork from like the 90s when you were doing the click adventure dungeon crawls, and then we've got some treasures, some diamonds, it does say treasure on the back. Gold. Oh, we got some magic axe, magic crossbow, magic dagger. So wizard's quarters. These are different room tiles. Goblin temple, great dragon lair. So this is a boss room. Pitch black, whoop, pitch black cave. Wizards, Arch Chamber, uh, Copper Gold, Magic Missile, Magic Rope, Magic Shield, Magic Buckle, Platinum Coins, Ruby Gemstones, Sapphire Gemstones, Silver Coins, and there's our Staff of Lightning again. So that's everything inside the box. So we will definitely have to read up on the rules to see how this works. Now the question is, does it all fit back in the box? Uh, I'm gonna separate them by type real quick, just so that they're all in the same setup. So when I do go through this again, I don't have to go searching for anything. I need a pile for monsters. Dungeons. Let's see. Dungeon rooms. Monsters. So again, this is the starter box. I believe there's several different boxes you can buy to expand your gameplay. And if you do enjoy the game, make sure to follow us and comment so we know you enjoyed the game. Uh, characters, there we go. So everything's sorted out. So we'll go monsters. Monster rooms. Treasures. 
treasures, heroes, and then let's see. I'm just going to skip this one. Uh, and then we'll add the diff different difficulties. So there's special rules for each of the rooms or each of the, the descents that you do. So let's see. Um, I like the name of this. A trope is a trope, you dope, you dope. Tragedy, the king has been assassinated. Nobody saw the murder occur, but rumors aboard abound that monsters have been roaming the castle's lower levels for the past few months. You and your interloping bard heard band heard head into the dungeons to investigate, but but wouldn't you know it, the other rumors of just winds in the deeper levels of the cavern dungeons turn out to be true. How will you be able to navigate your way here? Your torch won't stay lit. Ooh. Special rule, use room pitch black cave when encountering the vampire queen. After level three of this dungeon, every player must cover their eyes with their non-coin bouncing hand when attacking. In addition, any other special effects from the monster room. Ooh. That, that's really interesting. So each card has some kind of trope like that. So I will have to read on how the levels work and everything like that in the rule book, but we will definitely keep you posted on how this plays. And again, we are planning on doing an event with this locally, so make sure to check us out as we go and check on those things. I don't want to... I'm going to leave the dice on top because I don't want them damaging anything. Hmm, that might not work. Hold on, let's try and squish everything down. It was able to fit originally. There we go. And the coin's really cool looking too. And that's everything in the box, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. I know today is a little bit shorter than normal, but we were only gonna do the unboxing for this one. Um, we will have more content next week along with Manga Mondays being back. Again, sorry about the inconvenience for that one. I've been sick. Uh, I had heat stroke over the weekend because as you can see from my complexion, I took in a little bit too much sun. I am currently lobster mode. Uh, so again, if you have any questions about the game, hit us up. We'll be demoing it sometime in the near future. We'll, I'm not sure if we're gonna live stream that. We'll see how I can set up that. Um, thanks for joining again, guys, and we'll catch you next time at the table. Bye, all.